Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have what I have been melting the last half of March 2013. Wow. Because it's the 31st of March and I'm thinking, oh my gosh. <laughs> no, of 2019. And yes, I have come down with a head cold slash killer cough. So I'm really hoping I get rid of this because it's just over a week before I head over to uh, Texas and see my friend Ramona, Shar, Sarah, and everyone else. I think there's a few other people that Angela, I think, are going to meet you too. And um, I think there are a few different people I'll be meeting and most and so far that I know of because not too many people have popped forward saying that they'll um, like they're, they're going to meet with us or, you know, because now we're going to, I'm going to be staying in Houston for the most part, but the Friday night, the 12th. Of April um, Ramon and I are going up to Dallas and we'll be seeing Char and then we're gonna be going um, down to San Antonio Texas and seeing Sarah and Angela I believe and there are a couple people who have DM myself or Ramona saying that they live in one of those areas and that uh, obviously we will post on social media where we'll where we will be at um, for like a walk around the market I know that the day that we get to San Antonio I believe it's fiesta days as uh, Sarah told me so that's pretty cool. I love mark outdoor markets as well. So I'm really looking forward to that. And we're going to be staying close to the river. Um, and I'm just really looking forward to experiencing so many different things. I know the one big thing I asked Ramona is I really want to go to, while we're in Houston, I would really like to go to the space station. So I, cause it's probably a once in a lifetime, I'll never get there again. So I would love to go there. And I think so one of the days we might go there, but we'll post ahead. So if you don't already follow Ramona, her name is Ramona Talk, T-U-L-K. Um, please follow her is the same name or sorry her name uh, is on that name she uses for uh, YouTube and she goes uh, Moni 07 one I can't remember it's it's her birthday it's July so 19 oh shoot but anyway um, I will try to remember to link below uh, not link but I'll let you know what her uh, Instagram name is as well if you're not already following her um, Please do, especially if you're going to be in those areas you want to meet with us and hang out with us. Um, so, yeah, that would be awesome. All right, so I'm trying to get rid of this cold is what I'm trying to say because I'm really, really looking forward to this trip. Um, all right, so as you can see before you, there's two candles burning right now. So let's go to the toasted s'mores. I just lit it for this video. So far, both these candles from the time that I first burnt them to the where they're at now have burned phenomenally. They have not sooted, they have not puny whipped, they have not started smelling disgusting. But then again, well, I will say we are below the halfway point for both of them, but we'll talk with us about this toasted s'mores first. Um, aside from it burning like a dream, which is very rare to me, this one smells like spice it up. The candle came out, I think a year and a half ago at this point, so spice it up. It smells like cinnamon raisin toast or bread, bread, cinnamon raisin bread. Just as to me, the spice it up did smell like to me. Um, so that's, I think to me is a complete dupe in my opinion to spice it up in my opinion. So I love it though. Um, what, but I've been burning this one in my living room and this one in my bathroom. And I know Ramona just sort of posted on a video saying that she just, just, just can't get to Bath and Body Works Lavender or Lavender in general, although I think some of her vendor stuff is starting to change her mind. But this is a stronger lavender, and I am burning this one in my bathroom. I love it. It is one of my favorites. Um, so yes, I've been burning this one in my bathroom somewhere nice and relaxing. The one thing I will say is you can see the sticker from the heat over time, especially when it pools out, because both of these pool out beautifully. Um, so you can see that the heat has sort of taken the sticker on both sides of the bottom away from the from the jar um, But the jar itself is a beautiful color It's just it is one of my favorite relaxing scents from Bath and Byrix and it is part of their white barn um, uh, What is it something collection? It's like a staple collection anyway um, It's just it's a great candle. I'm glad that they picked that one as a regular a staple and so on and yeah, really, really enjoy it. Again, I know just started burning them both right now. Like just lit them. But so far, they no, watch, I'll just. <laughs> so far, they've been burning beautifully. No, like I say, no tunneling, no puny wicks, um, burning like beasts, no sitting, just overall a beautiful burn on both of those. So that being said, 
let's go. And again, some of these things already have reviews specifically if they're a throwback Thursday or whatnot. So I will just not go too in depth in some of these items um, and just sort of tell you, I have playlists on my channel, many, many playlists and they're by brand. So if you see a brand that I mention, even Bath and Body Works, which of course is probably the, the biggest playlist I have, um, feel free to, <clears throat> pardon me, <coughs> feel free to jump on over to a playlist and scroll down and see um, some better, more in-depth reviews. So this is Baja Cactus Blossom, and this was a burn that I decided, I think, yeah, I think, I actually like this one. Um, I liked it for my bathroom. I remember I bought two of these and I was not very finicky over this originally when I purchased this mm, a couple of years ago, I think at this time, because it was those funky, ugly packaging that no one really liked. Anyway, um, I actually like this in my bathroom. So I will say that my mind has changed on this one. I did enjoy cactus or Baja Cactus Blossom, but I found the right place to burn it. And it did burn very, very well. The sitting a little bit, mm, a little bit, on the top so you could actually see right there a little bit on the top but really not um nothing to write home about the burn has been great um was great it burnt for bath and byrick's candle it burnt to the bottom um it did really well actually so again i now i learned my lesson i know i've burnt one of these before and probably gave it i'm more than likely gave it a poor or more poor review whereas this one i'd say for my bathroom which is actually a decent sized bathroom um, I'm going to give it like a, for a throw, a seven out of 10 and the burn overall is like a nine and a half out of 10 would have got, excuse me, a 10 out of 10 if it wasn't for some sitting, but really not bad at all. So, okay. Change my mind. There you go. After like two years. Okay. So something I was burning with the toasted uh, s'mores at the same time I was burning campfire donut. Now the difference is toasted s'mores, like I said before, to me smells like spiced it up candle, which is the cinnamon raisin bread. This one is definitely a Beretti donut scent, so a real bakery scent. Now, as you can see, I stopped burning it right about here. And it had a fantastic burn up to about, um, well, you can see where it's really, really smudgy, but it had a fantastic burn to about the 50% mark, which is generally where I, it's either going to go one way or the other. No sitting, I will give it that, but the, probably one of the biggest reasons why it didn't sit is because from that really smudgy mark right here and down, I gave it a few tries. I, I'm not into cotton balling. Um, I know lots of people who do, but I am here to review a candle and tell you exactly how it burns for me. And I'm not going to waste my time, um, when, especially when especially once it hit there, it started stinking like burnt donut. Not quite burnt toast, but you know, because a donut smell, it definitely had like that sweet um, powdered sugar, cakey donut smell, which was good on cold, and it did really well for the first half. But once it hit that yucky mark right here, man, did it ever go south fast. Um, yeah, it started really getting disgusting, and I couldn't tolerate it anymore. And the reason why, sorry, I, it, I was trying to say, is that the reason why there's no snooting is because from there onwards, it was puny wicks the whole way. Literally, I'd look around, and it was just a glow. That's all it was. It was barely pulled out, but it was a glow of light, not a nice flickering light like these two over here. So with that being said, I would never repurchase this particular candle myself, but this was an older candle as well. So I don't even know, maybe the SAS, they might have it back. I actually feel that this one here is too sweet for me, that even if I did see it at SAS and I am into chopping my candles, I probably wouldn't even buy this to chop up. So anyway my opinion i know everyone's got their own opinion all right so <clears throat> last candle which i'm so sad to have seen <coughs> go is aquisis sandalwood vanilla this was phenomenal i got this for 14 dollars 99 at um probably home goods or home goods Home Sense, which it says comparatively to a $30 Canadian candle. Again, I am from Canada, so these prices are Canadian. First of all, the whole line, I have burnt, there, there is a playlist of this brand on my channel. And about two and a half, three years ago, this was the Shiznat. This was the brand that everybody was talking about. Everyone was hauling. 
people were like desperately trying to find them in their um, home goods store, uh, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods. Here in Canada, it would have been um, Winners and Home Sense, and the and most of them were okay, and they smelled really good and cold, and most of them. Burnt, the, the scent throws was mediocre but there were a few that stood out and I will say that if I found this one again I would absolutely purchase multiples of this this was fantastic again keep in mind I've had this in my collection for probably three years at this point and it had put, been put into some summertime throwback Thursday options that never got picked up so I finally because I'm just trying to use what I have I'm truly trying to and I'm doing a really dang good job I will say myself um, I decided to pick this one up and burn it. Now I'm sad because it's gone. So this whole line had the same colored jar, AQ for a quiz, really thick, thick glass, which was awesome to conduct the heat. It, as you can see, burns beautifully. Uh, Bath and Body Works take note. Um, I mean, really, like that is a little tiny bit of wax at the bottom. And um, yeah, so like the maybe the wick did shift a tiny little bit, but not enough to do any damage. Yes, there is a bit of sooting on that side. You can't see it with the jar as it is right here, but I can see it in the sunlight as I move it around. And again, if you can sort of see, I don't know if you can, there, so some of the light, you can see the light. So as it was burning, it was like a really, really nice, handsome candle. Again, men, women, all around, I think would really love this. Um, I already have an, another review on this channel because I was burning this the first half of the month. So um, I really like this. And I, to say I would buy multiples would not be a stretch of my imagination. I would definitely buy multiples in this candle again because um, the thrill was fantastic. I And yet, um, it, like I said before, this brand, it didn't always give me the best throw, but I definitely did for this candle. All right, I'm, I'm talking so much. Okay, something I cannot get behind. I tried, I tried, I really did. <sighs> Blueberry butt cake. Ramona, I'm bringing this back to you. I know much you love this one. It's got four left in it. I'm giving this back to you. I gave these two a shot. Oh no, 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 I can't do, I just realized that when blueberry is the strongest or most dominant note in a melt, I'm out. I'm tapped out, I'm gone. I, I just can't, no, nope, I can't get behind it. And I know I'm not the only one, but yet I know, oh, come on, focus. But I know that there are so many people out there that absolutely love blueberry. So for those who love blueberry, I think you would absolutely love this. I know that this came out last year. I've been holding on to it, and I'm, I'm trying to melt through some things that are a little bit older in my stash. This was a little bit older. Um, I got this in my possession on the 6th of June. Or sorry, the 4th of June. That's how we write a uh, year, month, day. So um, the 4th day of June is when I had it in my possession. So no, sorry, but Ramona, I'm going to put this off to the side. I'm going to bring it to you because I know you love that one. I'm just sorry. I tried it. <laughs> um, this is Evil Queen by Vintage Chic Sense. This was a big blossom bag. Um, there are still some major pieces in it. Now there's only two or three pieces left in it. Um, let's see what we've got here. And it's Mac, Apple, Lavender, and Cotton Candy. So these are two really, really big coins that I have left. This is lovely. These, these scents together are quite lovely. Would I wish that the lavender was more of a sweet lavender versus a herbal? Yes. I feel like there's definitely more of an herbal lavender note, but that might be because you're trying to compete with cotton candy and mac apple. But if it was a sweet lavender, mac apple, and cotton candy, I think I would be absolutely, totally enthralled. I would repurchase this, but probably not in a huge bag. Um, but I really do like this, and if you do like those, I, I melt this particular melt especially in my bedroom because lavender is kind of where it's at for my bedroom, especially um, oh, right before bed and things like that. So there's that. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't like wax melt or wax. Oh geez. Wax melts. I love wax melts. I don't like scoopables. Now again, please don't take this personally. If you love scoopables, it's just not my style. It's too messy for cleanup for me. Again, I don't cotton ball things out. My method of, of removal is a freezer method, which this does not work in the freezer. I literally just have to let it harden on the warmer, like turn the warmer off and literally take the scoop and like a spoon and literally spoon it out of the, of the melter, the holder. 
but you guys i have had this for so bloody long um 2017 i want to say i got this in a d stash and it sort of started to discolor a bit as you can like it's almost like it's lavender but it's not as prominent like you can see in the middle the lavender is very strong on the outside it's very milky but my god you guys lavender soda is one of my favorite scents from zape and this is freaking amazing again i have a loaf still of the scent and i, I will not chop it up until such time as i i want to get through the scoop because again i'm not a scoop person and i'm just trying to get through some of my stash that i know i've had a really long time and i really want to get through it so with that said lavender soda 100 percent yes especially if you like the fu or fuzzy oh my god this is the cold the fizzy and the lavender it's just absolutely amazing i think no one else does it quite like zape um i think she's done a really great job ashley hey and then ashley will talk but i think i might be coming through possibly close to your way this summer but we'll talk later anyway um because i want to come to her shop i totally want to come to her shop there's a few shops that there might be a road trip i'm taking and if that's the case there's a couple places that are a little off the path but i want to go and say hi and obviously purchase some things so um zape may be one of them so anyway long story short lavender soda 100 percent repurchase i have a loaf in it won't cut it up until such time as I get through this. It was once it was more of a summertime bedroom scent, but I really don't care. I love this. I would melt this any any old time. My god, this video is getting to be really long. I apologize. Okay, vintage chic scents. We have Cafe Reggio. And Cafe Reggio is described as Cafe Mocha and Marshmallow. Um, I like this, but I feel like I need more coffee. I feel like there's the mocha, which is the chocolatey, and the marshmallow. And what I'm realizing in wax is I'm not a fan too much of chocolate scents. I love it, loved it, but yet I learned to just not like it as much. But that was the Bath and Body Works hot cocoa and cream. I'm over that. I think I'm over chocolate cocoa type scents in wax. So for me, I love coffee scents, but I want coffee to be the number one scent that I get from it when melted. I definitely don't get coffee as number one. I get the mocha, like there is a back note of espresso, let's say, but it's mostly a milky chocolatey scent because that marshmallow is also just a sweet creamer, like a, a blending note. So would I repurchase Cafe Reggio on its own again? Hmm. I don't know if she had this offered Cafe Reggio with something else heavier on the coffee, I would probably buy that. But Cafe Reggio on its own again, I probably wouldn't. Now I know that that being said that I know it may not be a popular opinion. And again, please don't take this personally. I know Devin really, really loves this um, scent. I know her husband and she melt this on weekends and things like that on their days off, mornings and so on. But for me, I just needed more coffee. I need more coffee, coffee, coffee. VCS Pillow Talk. Sweet lavender, fluffy white cake, um, whipped cream, and strawberries. This is really lovely. Sorry, it took me a WC. Could be about three different things. This is lovely. I just chopped up a, a half a loaf and put it into this so it'll just be easier for me to pull out and use. I am hoping to get through this before the summer starts. So this will go into my melting basket for April as well. But I really like this. Um, would I purchase this again? Maybe not in a loaf size, but absolutely I would purchase this again. It's a lovely bedroom scent. Oh my gosh. One of the ones which I was hoarding for so long, which is VCS Sweeney's Barbershop Overpour, which is jo and the Joanna Embeds. So strawberry, rosemary, mint, shaving cream, and shaving cream, mint, strawberry. This is beautiful. I melt this exclusively in my bathroom. I'm not hoarding stuff anymore. I truly am going to be melting them um, because, yeah, I just, yeah, I need to melt things that I have. And it's just, it's, I hit that wall of melting. Um, jeepers, it's been three years, three years since I melted. I hit that wall in summertime. I want to say around June of 2018 where I was like, I have too much stuff. I am overwhelmed with the amount of wax I have. I love everything I have, but I'm overwhelmed. <coughs> so I was said to myself, I'm really going to limit what I buy. And since then, I really purchased two things, two advent calendars for Christmas 2018. And there are some things coming to me when on this trip from um, when I go to Texas, 
My friend Heather sent over things to Ramona's house that I purchased with Heather, like over very, very many, many months. And same with Sarah. Um, I'll meet with Sarah in San Antonio. She's got a box that I've literally had at her house probably since this time of 2018. And that I just haven't bothered because I'm overwhelmed and you know trying to get through and really trying to make room for all this stuff coming into me. So the stuff that you'll see in a haul that I'll probably share with you down the road um, are things that I bought like a year ago or like eight months ago or something. So just note that I have been staying pretty true to what I said about melting what I have. All right. I already mentioned this in a video many times before. These are found in Walmart. These are a great deal, especially when you can get them on sale. Yes, there are only six cubes, but they are twice the size of any other size cubes from any other vendor, or like uh, Better Homes and Gardens or Sensationals. Candy Sparkling Joy and Frosting with Love, both found at Walmart. These are both Christmas scents. So if you do find them in your Walmart now, I imagine you can get them at a steal. Um, but these were probably Christmas of 2017, I wanna say. Um, I really love Candy Sparkling Joy and would definitely repurchase that one. It was nice and strong. I felt like this one got lost. This vanilla is not the strongest of all the vanillas I've tried, so I probably wouldn't purchase that again. That's all I have to say. All right, Sensationals. Oh my gosh, I really, really like this. Daydream. Oh my goodness. Yes, I can still smell barely, but this was really lovely. I didn't know if I'd like it, so I, oops, I did melt this in my bathroom. But I really did like this. It was very, very lovely. Would I stock up? Hiccups. Would I stock up on it? Probably. Oh, geez. Probably not. Sorry, hiccups. But I do recommend it. It's quite nice. Sugar cookie dough. Meh. It, I found this in Canada, you know, six months after the Americans got it. It's, it's typical Canadian. Walmart, so we have nothing. And then we, when we do get something, it's like three years behind the Americans. So anyway, I would not repurchase this. I did not enjoy this at all, no. Pink Velvet, lovely. I melt this in my bedroom and it was beautiful. It was like definitely a pink sugar, um, sweet marshmallow-y type scent to it. I wouldn't say I got the cakey note of the macaroon or macaron, macaron, macaron. Um, but I love this in my bedroom. Oh, sorry, come on, focus. But this was really, really lovely. But I have been holding on to this for quite some time. I don't even think Canadian Walmart sell this anymore. But if I saw it in my Walmart again, I would definitely purchase that. Okay, so let's go on to just the one, like the whatevers. This was the Cranberry Mandarin Wax, wax Cubes from Mainstays. Fantastic, cheap. I really liked it. And there's not much else to say. Blown Up by Super Tarts. This is a Jaws blend. So this is Jaws and Lemon Curd. Now my boyfriend really loved this one. He's like, ooh, what does that smell? What is that melting? Because I melted this in my bathroom. And I'm like, I can tell him, but he's probably not going to really care. I'm like, oh, it's blown up by Super Tarts. It's Lemon Curd and Jaws. And he kind of looks at me like, glad I asked. <laughs> but um, what it is is sea salt, fresh air, seagrass, sliced plum, and sweet pear. And the reason why he asked is like, he stayed in this really posh like hotel like because he's in the Na Canadian Navy and they travel the world and sometimes they actually get days off on the mainland and get to stay in a hotel so they don't have to sleep on their, their racks, which are super tiny by the way. I've been in his uh, submarine. He works on the submarine. So anyway, um, long story short, he said this smells just like one of the posh hotels that he stayed in in Europe somewhere. So yeah, it's kind of cool, but I like that anyway. It is repurchased. It will be repurchased. Silver Surfer by Super Tarts, which is the almond blended with Jaws. I, I like this one. I would definitely repurchase. I think I actually have repurchased this one. Fantastic. Mandala Melts, coughing, coughing, blackberry, sweet, strawberry, apricot, lemon curd, and marshmallow. This is nice, but it was getting a little bit older. We're almost a year up into this date here, but I really did enjoy it. And I'm hoping Mandala Melts opens again soon. I know she's a student, so she must be wrapping up with her exams soon, and hopefully she'll do a restock shortly <coughs> sorry guys rosemary and spearmint better homes and gardens essential oil infused collection actually I like this one in my bathroom really did enjoy this it was very strong would i repurchase this i would not necessarily now in a pinch if i didn't have any of my jaws or omen scented things from super art hearts which i do have a lot of in my collection then in a pinch, I could go to Walmart and get this because I felt that this was a great bathroom scent, very spa-like. So um, I would repurchase it, but it was um, my favorite still are scents for the bathroom are still from Super Tarts. 
pumpkin berry tart, eh, you know, something to write home about. I wouldn't say it was my favorite. Again, I'm trying to use up the things that I've had for a long time. So year, month, day, I got this in um, October 4th, 2017 in my possession. And eh, it's fine, eh, you know. I love this one, Ice Winter Cranberry. Now you guys know I love Cranberry Woods. I love Frosted Cranberry, both of them from Bath & Body Works. This is so good. This is definitely more of the Frosted Cranberry kind of leaning towards. And cranberry, I know cranberry is for winter, but I can freaking use cranberry all year round. Like I know, I think it's Cupid's, Cupid's something from Vintage Chic Scents that does like a, it's a ginger ale and a cranberry scent, I believe, I believe it is. And it's one of my favorites. And again, cranberry can be used in the summer, used with those soda bubbly scents. And I, I would eat it, gobble it up, not physically eat it, but you know, I would absolutely repurchase this, but I would hoard this one. I love cranberry. I love how I can use cranberry in so many different ways. A repurchase, I would absolutely look for this when I go to the States as well. Pink sugar berry, I melt this specifically in my bedroom. Love this. Just, oh, even the package alone, like, oh, spot on. I love this one. Ooh, a surprise hit. Marshmallow candy cane. Now I have another one in my backup, which I'm hoping to save till winter time, let's hope. And it's a holiday edition. This is older. I got this one, um, well, in my possession, June 4th, 2018, but I have an older one in my collection, I think. Anyway, this is great. What a lovely blend between the candy cane, which is more of a peppermint vanilla, and then the marshmallow. Love it. Great on its own, would be a great blender as well. Oh yeah, Cranberry Mandarin Splash. So the only thing it would have been missing from what I just described to you, other than that it's cranberry and then the mandarin orange, the splash, one would think that there was some sort of fizzy note in this, but there is not. I'm not quite sure what the splash is. Maybe it's just the juiciness of the scent that um, the mandarin and the cranberry mix together bring, but that is one thing that I would definitely add to this. And I think, and I've said this before, Better Homes and Gardens and Sensationals, it would be in their better interest to throw in some fizzy note scents with certain scents that they do. And I think this one would have been it. The splash to me would have been that fizzy note like a non-alcoholic punch at Christmas time, that kind of thing, cranberry mansion splash. I think if, I'm not that anyone's watching from Better Homes and Gardens or from Sensationals, but please, like fizzy notes for the summer, fizzy notes for the Christmas and New Year scents, fabulous, and they go with so many things. Please, please, I would definitely buy that again. <coughs> mm, sorry guys. Another one I loved, and I would probably buy a couple clams of this when I come over to Texas. A rainy spring day, fantastic, fresh, clean. Oh man, it's it reminds me of something of my when I was a teenager. Don't know what it was or what it is, but it's fresh, it's clean, it's it, it's beautiful, and it's not overpowering like in in floral because that's not what this is. Definitely more of an aquatic note with some greenery behind it. Like there is a perfume greenery, but it's not heavy floral. I could say that there might be a little gardenia in it because I do like the smell of gardenia. Like a white flower on a, spring, a rainy spring day. It's, it's truly amazing. If you get the opportunity to go to Walmart, give it a sniff. If this is up your alley anyway, if it's not up your alley, then don't bother giving a sniff. Give it a sniff. It melts, at least mine melted exactly how it smelt on cold. So my 100% recommendation, I would definitely be looking for this when I'm in Texas. All right. I'm actually just going to tell you to go and look at my playlist because I just posted a video on a new to me vendor, a Canadian vendor, uh, and that's Bon Bon Candle Boutique. And so I've gotten a full on review and playlist started for her company. So a Canadian company out of Quebec. So we've got Marshmallow Fireside, and I've already got the reviews for all of these up on my channel. Then we have Lucky Lemon Loops, Christmas by the Beach, Peony Blush Suede, Chai Latte, sorry, I'm not focusing, Fry Gay Chardonnay, that's a cute name, and um, Kick Kickin' Cookie, Sugar Cookie, yeah, something like that. <laughs> so they're really good. Um, please do see my playlist. I don't want to make this video too. Oh my God, it's so long. And then lastly, I've got Rainbow Melts. I smell snow. Love this one. Um, fluffy marshmallows and icy peppermint. It's beautiful. Oh, I want more. Bed and Breakfast, which is part of her 
coffee collection. So it's a cafe espresso, caramel, or caramel, and hot orange Danish. This actually surprised me. It was really good. And cool beans, iced coffee, whipped marshmallow, and caramel drizzle. I didn't like this one as much. I think it's the caramel drizzle. I think it's just, just too sweet for me. Um, I felt that this one over here that says caramel and hot orange Danish, I felt that was more bakery, and I enjoyed that more than the sweetness of the caramel in this one. So I probably wouldn't purchase cool beans, but I know that it is a popular scent of crystals at Rainbow Melts. There you have it, you guys. There are my, when I melted, I was a beast the second half of March. Um, my first half of April, actually April is probably going to be pretty slim because I'm away a lot. I'm actually away physically for like from home from melting almost two full weeks because I'm going after I come back from Texas, I come home and boom, I am out visiting my parents for Easter. So um, yeah, anyway, as always, you guys, thanks very much for watching. Be safe, take care and have fun.